I am Riyad Sushri Rao, Associate Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College. I am going to discuss about the ring oscillator. So, open terminal CSH, then source gap home slash install slash CSH RC. What to show hand? Wait for the window to appear. This ring oscillator requires three CMOS inverters. Always CMOS inverter you have created in experiment number two. So I will make use of that. So file open. Experiment number two, wherein I have created the CMOS inverter. So I will use that. So this is a CMOS inverter which I have created, and this one I will use. So whenever you want, to, whenever you want the circuit to come in the center, you have to press F. So I will delete, I want to formulate the cell view for this, so to formulate the cell view, I will delete the unnecessary ones. So I will delete this, So this is the basic CMOS inverter and I am going to form the cell view for this. So let me check and say this, check and I will create the cell view for this. So create, then press the cell view radio button, then go to from cell view. So here the light name is experiment number 2, cell name is CMOS inverter, then Press OK. So the left pins are V in, right pins are V out. So this is a cell view. So here so you can write the part name as CMOS INV. So, so this is cell view. So this cell I will use it to form the ring oscillator. So file then new in experiment number two. I will create the ring oscillator. New cell. <coughs> so now I'm going to draw the ring oscillator circuit and I'll take the instance of the CMOS inverter. So PA instance browse experiment number two. The CMOS inverter I'm going to take. So this is an instance, so I will take three such things. Okay. Now I have to create a feedback path from the output to the input. And I will use a small trigger circuit for that. So the trigger circuit, I will use it. So 
calculate who stands for the trigger circuit. Now, analog labeling. So this is a VPWL I'm taking and uh, I'll make corrections using thin wires. So this output is connected to this and other end of this one is connected. Other end of the system is connected to the And I have to select the appropriate properties of this pulse source, which acts like a trigger. So number of number of pairs of points I will take four, and time one zero. At zero, it is zero volts, and at time two, let's say it is uh, one nanosecond. I will take. 1.8 volts and at time 3 I will take 1.1 nanoseconds and 1.1 nanoseconds also it is 1.8 volts and time 4 I will take 1.2 nanoseconds and I will take 0 volts. So at the zero, it is zero volts. One nanosecond it is one point eight volts. One point one nanoseconds it is one point eight volts, and at one point two nanoseconds it is zero volts. So this is the trigger what I am going to apply. What is the trigger duration? Point one nanoseconds. So the number of pairs is four. And maximum voltage level is 1.8 volts. Now let me launch ADEL. And uh, analyze. It is taking some time to get activated. Uh, one point I have just here, I have not given the supply over this and give 1.8 volts. So, 38 instance VDD. And I have to give ground also. Long. Then I have to give a supply source 1.8 volts. And uh, let me select the properties and then give 1.8 volts. So this is our point it was. So the supply is going to all these points, three CMOS inverters. Now let me launch ADEL, then analyze. I should go for the transit response. And uh, because I have given uh, the pulse of uh, one nanosecond. So I will select five nanoseconds in duration. So analysis choose 
transitors, one the stop time. I will see whether the, the oscillations are present here for a short time. So I will select 5 nanoseconds. And uh, accuracy results, there are three selections conservative, moderate, and liberal. So I will select the moderate, then apply. Okay. And I should mark the output. So now output. Okay. Select all design. So I will select this output because I have seen output at this point. Now I will run to see whether there are any oscillations. See, now I am getting oscillations like this. So this is the output of the ring oscillator. But basically this requires a, a small trigger. So the trigger is given by this trigger source for a very short moment, for a very small duration. And this is the output of the ring. Oscillator. This requires uh, three CMOS inverters. I have created the CMOS inverters in experiment number two. Then I have created the cell design and I have activated the ring. Uh, I have the output of uh, one inverter goes to the input of next inverter. And I used a small trigger source and this is a supply voltage for this and this is the output from this ring oscillator. So with this we conclude the ring oscillator experiment. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.